Imagine waking up to the soft whisper of silk sheets against your skin, the gentle aroma of freshly brewed coffee wafting through the air, and the warm glow of sunlight peeking through gossamer curtains. No alarms blaring, no rush to get dressed, no frantic dash to beat the morning traffic, just you embracing the peaceful start of a new day. This, my friends, is a glimpse into the soft life. Welcome to a space where we choose intention over intensity, where we prioritize our well-being, and where we give ourselves permission to simply. You see, the soft life isn't about luxury, it's about consciously creating a life that feels good from the inside out. But wait, before we dive deeper, let's take a moment to breathe. Inhale, exhale, feel that? That's the first step towards softness. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is this soft life everyone's talking about? Well, my friend, you're in for a treat. Let's unravel this cozy concept together, shall we? Close your eyes for a moment and imagine this. You step through the door of your home after a long day. The air is filled with the scent of lavender and chamomile. Soft music plays softly in the background and warm, inviting light washes over you. This, my friends, is the essence of a soft life home. Your home should be your sanctuary, a place where you can truly relax, recharge, and be your most authentic self. It's about creating a space that feels good to be in, a space that reflects your personality and brings you a sense of peace. Let's talk textures. Imagine sinking into a plush velvet sofa, snuggling up in a chunky knit blanket, or walking barefoot on a soft, fluffy rug. These are the kinds of textures that make a home feel cozy and inviting. Color plays a vital role in setting the mood of a space. Soft, muted tones like blush pink, sage green, and sky blue can create a sense of tranquility and calm. Don't be afraid to incorporate pops of color that bring you joy, but keep the overall palette soft and soothing. Bringing nature indoors is another wonderful way to enhance the softness of your home. Plants not only purify the air, but also add a touch of life and vibrancy to any room. Consider adding a few potted plants, a vase of fresh flowers, or even a small herb garden to your kitchen windowsill. Now let's talk about clutter. Clutter is the enemy of peace, my friends. It overwhelms our senses, weighs down our energy, and makes it difficult to truly relax. In the soft life, we embrace minimalism, not as a set of strict rules, but as a way of life. This doesn't mean you have to get rid of everything you own. It's about being mindful of what we bring into our homes, letting go of what no longer serves us, and creating a space that feels open, airy, and free of unnecessary clutter. Think about the feeling you want to experience when you walk into your home. Do you want to feel calm, relaxed, and at peace? Or do you want to feel stressed, overwhelmed, and anxious? The way we design our homes can have a profound impact on our mood and well-being. Remember, creating a soft life home is an ongoing journey, not a destination. It's about making small intentional changes over time that bring you closer to creating a space that truly feels like your sanctuary. The soft life isn't just about what we do, but also about how we spend our free time. It's about embracing hobbies and activities that bring us joy, ignite our creativity and nourish our souls. Imagine this, it's a rainy Sunday afternoon. You're curled up in a cozy armchair, a cup of herbal tea steaming beside you, lost in the pages of a captivating novel. The outside world melts away and you're transported to another time and place. This, my friends, is the magic of reading. Reading, my dears, is a balm for the soul. It allows us to escape into different worlds, to learn new things and to connect with characters who feel like old friends. Whether you prefer fiction or non-fiction, poetry or prose, make time for reading in your soft life. Now let's step outside for a moment. Imagine feeling the warm sun on your skin, the scent of freshly turned soil filling the air as you tend to your garden. There's something incredibly grounding and therapeutic about connecting with nature in this way. Gardening isn't just about growing plants, it's about nurturing life, watching things grow and flourish and finding beauty in the simplest of things. Whether you have a sprawling backyard or a sunny windowsill, consider adding a touch of green to your life. Speaking of nurturing, let's talk about cooking. In the soft life, we savor the process of preparing nourishing meals, using fresh, wholesome ingredients, and infusing our food with love and intention. Cooking doesn't have to be complicated or time-consuming. 
There are countless simple and delicious recipes out there that can be made with just a few ingredients. The key is to approach cooking with a sense of playfulness, to experiment with different flavors and textures, and to enjoy the process as much as the final product. These are just a few examples of hobbies that embody the soft life ethos. The key is to find activities that bring you joy, that allow you to tap into your creativity and that leave you feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Remember, hobbies aren't a luxury. They're an essential part of a well-rounded life. So make time for the things you love, explore new passions, and allow yourself to get lost in the flow of creativity. In a world obsessed with speed, efficiency, and productivity, the soft life invites us to slow down, to savor the moment, and to embrace a more gentle pace of life. Imagine this. Instead of rushing through your morning routine, you wake up a little earlier than usual. You make yourself a pot of herbal tea, sit by the window, and watch the sunrise. You take deep breaths, feeling the cool morning air on your skin, and simply allow yourself to be present. This, my friends, is the essence of slow living. It's about letting go of the need to rush, to do everything at once, and to constantly be on. It's about giving ourselves permission to pause, to breathe, and to appreciate the simple things in life. Think about the last time you truly savored a meal. Instead of scarfing down your food while scrolling through your phone, you put away all distractions, you sat at the table, and you truly focused on the flavors, the textures, and the aroma of each bite. This is mindful eating, a key component of slow living, it's about appreciating the nourishment we receive from our food, honoring the hands that prepared it, and allowing ourselves to fully experience the pleasure of eating. Taking leisurely walks is another beautiful way to embrace slow living. Instead of rushing from point A to point B, we allow ourselves to meander, to notice the details we often miss, and to connect with the world around us. Listen to the birds singing, feel the breeze on your face, and appreciate the beauty of your surroundings. These are the moments that make life worth living. And finally, let's talk about stillness. In a world that's constantly buzzing with noise and distractions, finding moments of stillness can feel like a radical act of self-care. Whether it's through meditation, deep breathing exercises, or simply sitting in silence for a few minutes each day, cultivating stillness allows us to quiet the mind, to connect with our inner wisdom, and to find a sense of peace amidst the chaos. Remember, the soft life isn't about doing less, it's about being more intentional with how we spend our time and energy. It's about creating a life that feels spacious, fulfilling, and aligned with our values. As we come to the end of our exploration, I want you to remember this. You deserve a life that feels good on the inside, not just one that looks good on the outside. The soft life is waiting for you, with open arms and a warm heart. Are you ready to embrace it? Take a deep breath? Feel the softness within you and step into a world where gentleness reigns supreme. Your soft life journey begins now with warmth and softness, your friendly guide to the soft life. P.S. Remember, the path to softness is unique for everyone. Trust your journey, embrace your version of the soft life and never let anyone make you feel guilty for choosing peace. You've got this.